Norm Chow brought the toughness of Palolo Valley to high school at Punahou, where he earned all-star honors playing power positions in football, basketball, and baseball. Yet Chow possessed an uncanny dexterity that belied his size and a likable personality that earned the respect of teammates and coaches alike. But his senior year, he just, he was our captain and he just did a unbelievable job as captain. He led our team rebounding, both offensively and defensive rebounds. He led our team in scoring. He made every all-star team that he could make that year, the, the two preseason tournaments, the league, and uh, he was just outstanding. Well, Norb was a guard in football, and I think around that time he must have been maybe 220 pounds, you know, which by today's standard is, is relative lightweight. And then he was a center in basketball and then a pitcher in baseball. You know, he excelled in all three sports. Uh, he was an outstanding blocker. Uh, of course, he went on to play uh, football at the University of Utah and then on, I think, into the Canadian uh, Football League for a while. And in basketball, he was a center. He was a very solid center. You know, for a guy his size, I think he's about 6'2", maybe. Um, a good center because he had good lateral movement, good movement to the basket, make layups with either hand, a good soft jump shot, which is what was necessary then, right around, uh, you know, within the 10-foot range. Baseball, he was a pitcher, good pitcher. Threw the ball pretty hard, had good movement, stayed around the plate a lot. So, uh, you know, all, all of those things uh, just made him, well, he was athlete of the year, our senior year in 1964. My relationship with Norm goes back to my senior year in high school when I was kind of the new kid in the block. I uh, lived in Hawaii when I was younger and I came back when I was a senior. And uh, I'll never forget meeting him at Kaimaki Gym Rec Center with Leland Pastana and Spider Wong and Charlie Wiedemeyer and, and then Pal Eldridge was probably there that night. And anyway, I was just, uh, I think I was the only Howley there. He kind of looked out for me, made sure that people wouldn't pick on me because I was the new Howley on the block. And I'll never forget that, of how gracious he was and how humble he was and how protective he was. That meant a lot to me. And ever since then, it always has been. And we've stayed close ever since then. After graduating from Punahou, Chow went on to a distinguished football career as a player at the University of Utah. Then he embarked on a coaching odyssey that has rightly earned him a reputation as one of the greatest offensive minds in football history. First at Brigham Young University, and then at North Carolina State, USC, the Tennessee Titans, and now at UCLA. During this period, Chow's teams won three national championships, and he mentored some of the greatest college quarterbacks of all time, including three Heisman Trophy winners. Punahou Athletic Hall of Fame welcomes Norm Chow, class of 1964.